Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be giving a few tips for playing as Jigglypuff against Yoshi. This is not a full, analysis, a full analysis of the matchup. Okay, the first tip is attack Yoshi after his double jump, not before, unless you know what you're doing. So I have a few clips here where Jiggly goes in for attack. But Yoshi just stays out of Jiggly's range and counterattacks with the double jump. So here, let's let's check out the first example. See that? Try that again. Stays out of the range, comes back and attacks. All right. Next example. See that one more time. Jigglypuff is jumping up, comes back with the back air, and misses, and Jiggly becomes vulnerable at that point. Right? If you throw it an attack first, a lot of times uh, you have to wait until the attack ends, and that gives your opponent an opening. Next example. So you see, in this case. Uh, Jiggly hits Yoshi, but because of Yoshi's super armor with the double jump, he can kind of get out of that attack and attack when it's when it's safe, right there. So once again, here's is Jiggly attacking first, which can be very dangerous for a lot of characters in the cast. And here's another example. That one just totally missed. So see see how much range Yoshi covers with the horizontal distance Yoshi can cover with the, the second jump. Alright. And now, so you can attack Yoshi first, but it's pretty risky. And in this example you see uh, Jiggly coming up with an up air. Jiggly actually gets the hit, right? But that won't happen every time. Usually it'll be like this next hit right here. So Jiggly comes down, hits, and Yoshi counters. So that's a lot of times that's what will happen, and that can give Yoshi an easy combo by just countering everything you do. Okay. So what I recommend, uh, you might not be able to do this every time, but you want to wait until Yoshi does his double jump first. So here's an example. All right, play it again. Yoshi's going to come up here and miss. Jiggly kind of just waits and where it's safe. And counters attacks. So in this example, Yoshi is the one attacking first. And then Yoshi is the one who is vulnerable. Not Jiggly. <laughs> Alright, how about this one? And here, Yoshi comes in for attack. And here, Jiggly just waits because. In this game, you know, what comes up must comes down, must come down. And here Yoshi has to come down somewhere. And you can kind of you can kind of anticipate where they're going to land sometimes. That's a good pivot there to get out of the way. All right. Here's some more examples of waiting until Yoshi double jumps first. Okay. See that again? He just jumps and attacks, right? Sometimes they're just crazy like that, and they'll give you an opening. All right. Here you see, you can kind of out jump uh, Yoshi in some instances, just kind of stay above him, 
and then come down right, as he's coming down as well. And finally, I think this is another example of waiting until Yoshi does something first. <laughs> so there, yeah, there, there Jiggly goes again. Yoshi does the jump. Misses that one. Tries to jump away while attacking. But it's kind of kind of stuck there because you have to fall down and uh, Jiggly pounces on, pounces on Yoshi. So you get a lot of opportunities. Make Yoshi do something first. But that won't always happen, right? Sometimes Yoshi will wait for you or something. <laughs> okay. So the second tip now is be careful when throwing out attacks in the air for whatever reason. So this habit might be specific to this player here, this Jigglypuff player. But just to bring this to your attention here, I'll slow this down here. And let me go back. So it looks like Jiggly just throws out an attack to kind of maybe gain some forward momentum. But you have to understand right after you do an attack in the air people might see you as vulnerable and go for an attack and I have one more example of this where this player does like a forward air in the air there it is right there let me, let me go back all right comes up there's a forward air and Yoshi comes in for attack so you want to be you want to be thinking about uh, why you're attacking because in the air once you once you let out an attack there's there's a lot of delay sometimes for you a move to end depending on what the move is and that gives your opponent a chance to react. Okay, now I'll go to the third tip, and the third tip is think about how high you are. Um, in the air when you're starting your down air and think about if you actually will have time to follow up so these next two examples Yoshi is going to try to recover onto the stage and Jiggly will try to do a down air right when Yoshi comes back and Jiggly will fail to follow up with an up air we'll see here I'll slow it down And Yoshi, Yoshi parries the up tilt. So why is that? You can see here. Uh, let me draw on the screen. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> so this is kind of a high distance for Jiggly to be. To start the down air. And still expect to have time to up tilt. And this is because if Jiggly starts the the down air uh, too high off the ground, sometimes the down air will finish too soon, and it gives Yoshi um, additional time to recover from the hit stun. Also, if you start the down air um, too high, you're not even able to do the trick where you don't Z cancel and it pops the opponent up. So it won't even do that. So you want to make sure. Let me play this clip first. You want to make sure you're, you're more low to the ground. And the lower you are to the ground, the less time your opponent has to recover from the downer. That's what I believe. And I have another example. Let's play this one too. Here comes Yoshi. This one, this jumps a little better, but it's more at the like the top of the jump. It's not exactly while Jiggly's coming down. And you could also kind of say that Jiggly was in front of Yoshi in a way. But I think the main thing is, yeah, you want to think about um, 
oh, am I starting this downer too high up? And if I do that, you know, you might not have time to follow up. So if you go into training mode, you can you can see try doing the down air too early um, after like a short jump. And when you come down and try to up tilt, you'll see sometimes the combo meter doesn't connect. And you'll see um, overall the most times it connects is when you start the downer closer to when you're landing. Okay, so that was that's kind of a difficult difficult concept, but I hope you guys get it. Hope you get it. And now the the final tip I have is to make sure you understand when Yoshi is above you, above Jiggly. Uh, Yoshi has a uh, I would say a big advantage over you. So you want to be really careful. I'm going to play this clip right here. What do you see here is Jiggly is going to try to go up. I'm not sure why, but whenever Jiggly does that, all Yoshi has to do is go up too and then come down with an attack. So Yoshi comes down faster then Jiggly can go up a lot of the times. So when you're in kind of this position, Yoshi has the high advantage over you. You want to really think about what you, how you're trying to approach Yoshi. Because Yoshi can just jump up and then come down. And you'll see here. That was, a, that was a big combo there. Let's see that again. Jiggly's trying to challenge, but Yoshi has the height advantage. It's not really easy to get a hit in that situation. And one more example. Let's play the clip. Yoshi comes back, has some invincibility. And Jiggly kind of jumps up during the invincibility. That's pretty dangerous. But also, yeah, Jiggly can't jump too quickly and Yoshi could just come up and hit you. And once again over here, Jiggly tries to jump up when Yoshi has the height advantage and Yoshi gets hit in the face with a back air. So right here you want to recognize, okay, Yoshi has the height advantage. He could just like jump over me and just come down really quickly at me. So you have to be really careful. There it is again. Okay. So those are four tips for Jigglypuff against Yoshi. Uh, to summarize, the first tip was you want to attack Yoshi after his double jump, not before. Unless you know what you're doing. Second tip was be careful when throwing out attacks in the air. You could say that for, for all characters. Because there, there's delay until the move finishes and your opponent can get you during that time. The third tip was think about how high you're, you're starting your down air if you want to try to combo into like an up tilt or something else. Because if you, if you start too soon um, the, the moves might not connect. And finally, the last tip was when Yoshi is above you, Yoshi has the advantage. So you want to play more carefully than when, when you're above Yoshi. When Jiggly is above Yoshi, the, the, the tables are turned in a way and Jigglypuff has the advantage. Okay, that's all the time for this, this video. Thank you for watching.